Good evening. I am going to show you how to make a skin for free where you don't have to have any programs downloaded. So um, having tried a couple, I think Planet Minecraft has the best skin editor that is out there. And with recent updates, it's even better, especially since you can now do mobs and not just your regular character skins. So you go ahead and go to planetminecraft.com, create a, an account there, and click on the skins tab where it brings up this area and then go Minecraft skin editor and then click start. Now what's really nice about this is it always saves your last project you're working on. So you know, I, I've already uploaded this, so I go file, new skin, and then just click yes, erase it. Then click the skin you're going to want to do. You can do Steve or Alex, male or female. We're going to go ahead and do Steve, and we choose a skin color. I like to choose between a light pale orange or a light pale pink. Let's go do a light pale pink. So you know, really close to white. Um, but you know it depends on your ethnicity so we'll go ahead and do that and go create now we have our skin right here that we can go ahead and start designing so first thing I like to do is erase all these parts you're not really erasing it you're just making them invisible and we start with the head so let's go ahead and choose our eye color a good eye color is one that's not too vibrant so we like to make it a little bit pale and a little bit bright and now you have your palette tools you like to use here I like the regular pixel brush with just the smooth little painter thing right here and also my mirror I like to make sure across limbs is turned on okay so let's go ahead and color this maybe I'll make this a little bit darker and let's put in the eyes and then let's make white for the pupils oh. sorry there we go and if we want to make those darker we can do that too but we're just going to leave it like that let's go ahead and choose a brown which is just a pale orange Put him the hair, you know. Great. Now we're going to use this magic wand, which basically fills in with a color. Very nice. Go back to our pixel paint brush. Then we're going to put over the helmet, and we're going to do another layer of hair. Just to kind of make it look cool. It's always good to make sure you use the armor for adding on to the skins because it makes it look a lot better. Okay, so we got some hair there. Now we're going to erase both of these and now come to the main body part right here. And again, this t skin I'm doing right now is not going to be too complicated because this is just teaching you how to do it really simple and easy and get started. So let's choose a shirt color. Why don't we do a blue? Let's do, maybe this time it will be a little bit stronger. We're going to go like this, and go like this, and like this. And then fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in. Now I'm going to choose a white. Go like this. And I'll go like this. Now I'll use this to pick back my blue color. And I'll come and paint it again, but I'll use the magic wand. No, I won't use the magic wand. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't work perfectly. That's okay. Okay, we got that part in. Now let's come and do the arm. And again, I have my cross limb, so it's going to do both arms at once. Fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in. Now I come back to our white. Oops. Control Z if you make a mistake. Great. And over here, I'm going to switch it back to the front, so I'm looking at it from the front side. Right here, you can see or what you're looking at. That's the left side. This is the front side. Good. Now I'm going to put the armor back over because I want to do. I want these sleeves to kind of look like they're really coming out of ways. You know, that kind of look cool. Now I'm also going to do is pick pot back my blue. Come back to the pixel. Put the armor right again. Then I'm going to fill in right here just to make it look like it's a bigger sleeve. If I want to, I can remove that arm just so it doesn't get confusing. Or make it invisible, I guess. Uh, now we want to come out like this. And if you want to mirror from front to back, you can do that here in your mirror tool through as well. That through makes it so front to back makes the same. But for now, we're not gonna use that. Okay, so I've got that, so the arm looks like that. Kind of cool. Um, I think what I'll actually do, I think it might look better on the inside and the outside, so I'm going to actually erase 
oops, use that erase tool and look, you can reset it back to where it was. Great. Put it back like this. Let's come across the side like this, move it back to the front, and let's make it go over this side instead. I think it'll just look better. Okay. So we've done the arms and the torso. Now we're going to actually come back to the torso. I think a belt would look cool. So we're going to choose sort of a brown, and we're going to use the armor again and bring it back out like this. This will be the belt. Then we'll go ahead and do yellow for an awesome belt and buckle. Okay, make those invisible. Let's come down to the leg. We're still mirrored. Let's choose a pale blue because that's going to look like our jeans, and we want it to be a little bit darker. And we're going to go ahead and just fill in since none of it will be showing. It actually kind of looks more like purple, doesn't it? Well, we'll keep it. Okay, now we will do... Let's see, how about... Uh, what if we do a white pair of shoes? White shoes, okay. And use the fill-in tool. And then what we're going to do here is it's going to be a red tongue. I'm actually going to take my white back. I'm going to bring up the armor. I'm going to fill in the sides a little bit. But just like this so far. Let's see. Should we just do it like that far? I think I actually might do the full length. Make it look like they're, he's wearing big shoes. Then I'm going to want my red back. I'm going to place just two right here, but that's it. Kind of give it a three-dimensional look. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to Mirror. I'm going to turn it off temporarily. I'm going to come, come get the skin texture. And I just realized I put that on the back, didn't I? Well, guess what? Easy fix. That's a nice thing about this. You can fix things real easy. Whoops. Oh, I just want to erase that and that. Um, part picker. Yeah, just watching this, you can see I make mistakes all the time myself. Don't feel bad if you feel like you're making mistakes. It's normal. Let's get our red back. Do that, and then do that. Grand. Okay. So, like I said, oh, I didn't use my mirror again. Look at all these mistakes I'm making. Uh huh. Yeah, see, it's not even on the right side. Well, let's just go to the left side. Fix what we were doing. See, it's okay to make mistakes. And we'll go ahead. Fix this back here. Back to the front, let's get our red again. Like that, and like that. Okay. Did it look good? Grand. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is make these invisible again. Make that invisible again. We're going to remove the cross limbs again. Come back and get the skin tone. Now, we're going to put a little tear in his pants. Uh. No, let's do like that. Pretty simple. Great, now we need a gray color. A light gray. And we're actually going to come to the armor on top and then just put these right here, these little blocks right here. It just makes it look like his pants is torn right there. Put back the cross limbs. Okay. Now we can go ahead and take a look at what it looks like so far. Not too interesting, that's okay. It's because we haven't done any shading yet. And shading is very important. And I can actually see that I messed up right here too. Can you see? The arms. We'll fix that in a jiffy. Great. Okay, now let's make all the parts invisible again. We're going to do the shading. 
and I just do it one part at a time. So you click this right here, the smooth hill right in the middle. Again, make sure the mirror is on. And then lightness shift, I like to put it to 97%. This is perfect for shading. You go through, and now we're just putting in the shading right here. When I'm doing a nice skin, I take more time and I to make a good shading, but here we're going to be a little quicker. Maybe click three times, one, one, two, three, one. Give it a little bit of a rosy cheek. Why not? He's a cool dude. All right, now let's just shade a little bit, you know. Make his hair look natural. Anything that's in the shadows, I like to shade a lot. Okay, that's done. Let's do his hair. This won't make, take much. Great. Let's come to the chest area. Now uh, we're going to... We're going to go like this. It makes it look like natural ruffling in the shirt. Or fold or something. Here I'm going to make it really dark because that's in the shade. Right there. It's in the shadow of his arm. Here I'll kind of do that too because it's under his head. And this, of course, will be dark as well. And, yeah, we'll do the ruffle thing again, you know. Okay. Now I'll come to the belt. We're just going to do the shading thing for everything. I mean, it just adds noise to make it look better. Left arm. We'll do the ruffle thing again. Make the hand a little bit darker. Maybe I'll click a few times in the hand just to make it look like the hand isn't perfect. Great. Okay, the shoulder area. Okay. Now I come to the leg. Same thing. Bottom is kind of dark. Same with the top. Okay, and now for part of the shoe. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Make that one extra dark. Okay. Now let's open up all the pieces and see how it turned out. Ah, that's decent. Not the best skin I've ever done. But at least you can see how it is done. Kind of a cool looking skin. And then if you're on Planet Minecraft, you have your account, go ahead and just publish it, and you'll have your awesome skin. And that's all there is to it. So now you know how to make your own skin for free without downloading any programs. Hope you enjoyed this, and bye.